And Tom, you mentioned this right now. Towns and fire departments around the region recovering after a busy day battling an onslaught of brush fires. Let's take a look at a map. It shows you just how widespread these fires have been from Tupper Lake to Brattleboro and everywhere in between. Pastures and woodlands have been scorched, sending firefighters out to battle the flames. WPTZ's Rachel Cars is live in Winooski tonight. Rachel, what's the latest? George, when I was checking in on some of the fires earlier this evening, some departments were still out battling the flames. Tonight, fire crews are warning residents to think twice before they burn. People are getting itchy from the winter time. They want to get rid of all their brush and their leaves and stuff like that. Although right now, the state of Vermont's put out a red flag warning that there's no burn permits being issued throughout the state, I believe. The wind, warmth, and extreme dryness sparked dangerous conditions across much of northern Vermont Monday. Brush fires broke out in all corners of the state, including this one in Charlotte. Adhere to the state warnings that when they put out you know, brush fire warnings, do not be out there burning because things like this can happen. This fire started in the yard next door to the old lantern on Greenbush Road. While crews were battling the fire, they were notified embers had blown over to the wedding venue, setting it on fire. I got the call, and they said it's contained, it's fine. When I pulled up and I saw every department from New Haven to uh, Shelburne here, that's when I panicked. Crews spent much of the afternoon pulling out burnt paneling and extinguishing any trace of fire on the lot. Venue owner Lisa Gojack says they aren't wasting any time making the repairs. In fact, my contractor's already on site and he's ordered the wood and we'll have it paneled up and ready to go tomorrow. We'll be painting tomorrow afternoon. With the oh, wedding yeah, just yeah. 10 days away, Gojack says they'll be ready. I think that's what my contractor thought is that we do 65 weddings a year and so I think he assumed we had one this weekend but but no, we're taking it off for a family event so it worked out really nicely so we're good. Now the Red Cross is delivering supplies for 300 firefighters currently battling major uh, brush fires in both Brattleboro and Andover. Live in Winooski tonight, Rachel Cars, WPTZ News Channel 5. The National Weather